Okay, the next procedure here is to install or lay out and install all of your traction screws. I am going to start by skipping the first two rungs. Um, I may go back and add them later, but for now I'm going to do that. Uh, on the outside edge I've spaced them two inches apart all the way down. And then the crossbars I'm doing two in the back on the, sh on the shorter ones and as you get closer to the front I got three. The idea behind you installing the traction screws is to allow you to pick how much traction you need. Um, I'm going to lay it out like this so after I ride it if I feel like I need more I will add more. If not I'll leave it as it is. I just used a, uh, a silver pencil straight edge, tape measure. Now I'm going to punch all the holes. I've gone ahead and center punched all the holes. If you don't center punch them, the drill's going to wander on you and none of the holes are going to end up where you want them. So make sure you do punch them all. Skins provides um, a couple drill bits with the kit. The small one is a pilot hole drill. Um, go through and drill all your holes using that one first. Then follow up with the larger drill. Just makes putting the hole where you want it um, a little bit easier. For those of you not familiar with uh, working with any types of uh, aluminum or steel, um, aluminum Higher speeds are better. It keeps the aluminum from galling up in the, uh, the cutting surfaces of the drill bit. Okay, and onto the larger drill bit. The other thing you're going to want to make sure is try to drill them as straight up and down as you can. The angle of the hole is going to be the angle of your screw. So if you go in crooked, that's how your screw is going to go in. After you're done drilling your holes, um, go ahead and take your take some sort of a cleaner. I'm using Windex multi-surface here. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot easier to get the pencil marks off before the studs are in. Um, so go ahead and just clean up all that and then start installing your stuff. Okay, I've got a quarter inch driver on the end of my cordless here uh, to put the traction screws in. One thing you're going to want to do is make sure that if you're using a cordless or any type of drill, make sure it's got a clutch on it that you can adjust. I'm going to start because you don't want to strip out the screws. I'm going to start, mine goes up to, mine goes from 1 to 17, so I'm going to go somewhere right in the middle, try around a, probably a 9, and uh, see how that does. Uh, if, if I need a little bit more torque, I'll, I'll adjust as I go. Whatever kind of drill you're using, um, make, make sure it's got a clutch on it. If it doesn't, uh, I, would, I would recommend doing all these by hand. Um, mine goes from 1 to 17. 1 being the lightest, which means it's going to, the, the, as it starts to feel resistance, it will disengage the clutch uh, sooner. Um, this will prevent you from stripping out any of these holes or snapping them off, because that can happen. I'm going to start mine on a 1, which is the lightest. If the traction screw goes all the way in, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so it didn't. 